is dark out and uh, I just got out of the shower and uh, thought I would film a quick video. I think this one's going to be on the shorter side. I don't really have a lot uh, that I know about this particular perfume, but I just blind bought it at Burlington Goat Factory, which I've never been to Burlington Goat Factory before. Um, so that was the first, but they had quite a bit of perfume. It was all on the much more affordable side. There was definitely a lot of celebrity perfumes, which uh, I'm always interested to try. I just like to try a range of perfumes, whether they're celebrity perfumes, designer perfumes, sometimes even niche perfumes, but I definitely will not be investing in any expensive perfumes unless I really know that I want them. Okay. So this is the perfume that I bought today, that I tried. I got a few others, which I'll be showing soon. So this one is called Liquid Sun by Dahlia Sodi. T-H-A-L-I-A-S-O-D-I. Dahlia Sodi. I really like the bottle. I think it's a pretty cute bottle for being so affordable. It's fun. Um, this was $9.99 at uh, Burlington Go Factory. I like keep forgetting what it's called because I've never been there before. Um, but yeah, I like the bottle. It is, look at this on the back. It's like a ray of sunshine. And I mean, this is called Liquid Sun. sort of color that I see with 
It smells really nice. Oh, yeah. And I will say, I sprayed this on a piece of paper about four hours ago, five hours ago. So I have that as well. I 
plain citrus. Um, I do not really get any coconut nectar. No, I don't. I just don't. I don't get it. I could be like, maybe I do. I don't. I don't smell any coconut nectar. Uh, so if you don't like coconut, don't worry, because I don't smell it. Okay. I don't know that that's the fault of this perfume. I think that it might just 
heavier. Um, they just don't tend to stick around. They're like up here, they're higher, and they just vibrate away into oblivion. Um, and I have to tell you, so this is the piece of paper that I sprayed, I think like five hours ago. It basically smells like nothing. I think we're just confirming that there's very few base notes in this perfume. It still smells faintly of the, like, uh, citrus. Okay. I'm like, am I getting anything? Maybe I'm getting something, like, slightly woody. I don't even know. Basically, uh, this perfume does not last very long, but it's okay because this whole dang bottle is $10. So, spray it away. Okay, um, let's read a few, um, a few other things on this. So, this only has 48, uh, uh, ratings on Fragrantica, and it's given a overall rating of 3.71 out of 5, so that's pretty good, but, you know, not a lot of people have rated it, so, um, Okay, so, and, uh, this designer, Dahlia Sodi, has a few other perfumes that I can see. They have one called Blooming Opal, they have one called Absolute Amethyst, Diamond Petals, and Azure Crystal. I bought the Azure Crystal, so I'm gonna review that one soon. I really liked that one. They're all in this same bottle, but just different colors. Okay, so, um, longevity, people are rating this as moderate longevity, which is interesting because I don't quite agree. I think that it's on the, on the weaker side for longevity, but it's just what I would expect for, you know, what this smells like. Um, people say this has a good price value because it does. Okay, I'm just gonna read a few random reviews here. There's probably not that many. Yeah, there's not. Okay, one person, they say, Liquid Sun is a beautiful green, non-soapy orange blossom neroli scent with a hint of creamy coconut that apparently I cannot smell. I love neroli and orange blossom, and this is a lovely one at a really good price, $18 at Burlington. Well, girl, I got this for $10 at Burlington, so I'm feeling really lucky. Um, let's see. She says, oh, though I definitely applied a lot, 15 to 20 sprays. I am unfamiliar with, uh, LV Sunsong or, oh, those are other perfumes she's saying she's unfamiliar with, but are similar to this. Okay. Another person says, I get a lemon fresh scent with this one. Very nice. Literally reminds me of sunshine. Can be unisex in a way. Yes, good point. I would say this is a very unisex fragrance um, because it's just neroli, you know? It's really just... It's really just neroli. I mean... I'm not getting any of the other notes. I'm not. Anyway, yeah, this is great unisex scent if a guy doesn't mind smelling like neroli. Somebody else says, a very well done neroli fragrance. More green than creamy in my opinion. Very unisex. Also, I totally agree with that review. This next person says, 100% unisex and neroli based fragrance so you can get a Tom Ford neroli portofino vibe, but more sweet and creamy due to the coconut note. Great gem here. Love, another person says, lovely soft citrus reminiscent of John Nate. For the 2.5 minutes it lasts, it literally evaporated in 5 minutes. Okay, yeah, that's probably accurate for this person. I don't think they're exaggerating. Maybe a little exaggerating, but I do not see a review on here of anybody disliking it. Um, so, you know, nobody seems to really dislike this a lot, at 
always the people who reviewed it. Okay, the last thing I want to do before I close this up is I want to learn a little bit about Talia Sodi because I have no idea who this woman is. Let's find out. Um, like, I don't know if she's a celebrity. Talia Sodi. Um, like, let's look at a Wikipedia. She's really gorgeous, I'll tell you that. Okay. So 